Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome back to you all. In this video, I'm going to take a look at recording a macro in Excel to automate the task of importing a plain text file into an Excel workbook, an Excel spreadsheet. So, well, I've already got the developer tab displayed and of course I'm sitting on it here. As I mentioned previously, if you don't have the developer tab displayed, simply click File, go to Options, Customize Ribbon, and do, of course, to make sure that the developer tick box is ticked or checked, and click OK. In the Code group over on the left-hand side, I'm going to click Choose to Record Macro, Import Text. <clears throat> file is going to be the name of the macro. I'm going to click or tab into the shortcut key box and I am going to put a capital I in there for example to import. What I'm also going to do in this particular case is to make it quite a generic macro so I am going to store the macro in the personal macro workbook. That's something called literally personal.xlsm in uh, Microsoft Excel. This macro imports plain text. That's going to be the description. And click OK. The tape recorder, that typical, that classic analogy, the tape recorder is switched on. I can see that record macro has now become stop recording. I press Control A, I beg your pardon, Control O on my keyboard. Click Browse, double click the appropriate file, give it a moment or two. There's the text import wizard dialog box. Click next. Tab delimited exactly what I want. Checking out my sample, my data preview. Perfect. Click next once again. Not going to make any changes to the nature of the data. Simply click finish. Give it a moment or two. And there is the file um, imported. A little bit of formatting to finish off. Control shift right arrow key. Uh, Control B to make the uh, headings, the field names bold. Nice little teal colour for example there. Maybe select the whole worksheet and best fit across all of the columns. And then maybe just narrow down column G there for example. Scroll across a little bit. Narrow down column L. Doesn't need to be quite so wide. Our control and scroll wheel. Control home to go back up to the top left corner. Not looking good. Yeah, that's fine. Just a little bit more perhaps. Select the headings. The borders drop down. I'll choose more borders. And from the color, I don't want automatic like an orange to contrast with the teal. A bottom border there. Click OK. I'm going to increase the row height so it can be uh, a good idea. I think it looks really quite neat. I think if you are going to increase the row height to middle align, uh, particularly with my captions on my headings there. So do that. And then, like I say, increase the row height. Let me just click away so we can see that. Yep, reasonably neat, reasonably tidy, I think. Go back to the Developer tab and then click Stop Recording. So Excel recorded every single part of that process, every single um, individual instruction, effectively. And I can now rewind the tape and play that macro back at any point in time to automate that repetitive task of importing data. I never have to go through the process manually ever again. Let me just close that file down for the moment. I'm not going to bother saving that. What I am going to do is I'm going to control shift and the letter I. Give it a moment or two or three or four and there we go. There's the running of the macro. Done it all automatically for me using a macro. Macros, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tools in Excel, generally in Microsoft products, of course. So that's uh, that's another recording macros in Excel. It happens to be Excel 2016, but this functionality is available, of course, in all the versions. No question about that at all. So that's it from me, Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Do search for my other videos here on YouTube. Uh, but take care and bye bye.